lovely people i hope you are doing good so this is the current state of my studio we are actually packing and moving to a different city as you know postings are part of bharat's job so we are again packing and i'm in complete mess as you can see and i actually wanted to you know just relax myself because i'm just you know done with this there's so much of work around me and i want to relax and calm myself down so let me first take you out of this mess and today let's enjoy making some tropical plants and you can use any drawing paper or even acrylic painting for making this and of course go ahead or use a canvas if you want you know but at the end of the day we'll be left with beautiful canvases that we can either frame or you know just paint it on painting papers and just frame them and then you're definitely going to get some beautiful wall decor for yourself which is going to be completely green but i'm sure the amount of peace and happiness you'll get after painting these green plants would actually help you to you know to just relax and to de-stress yourself completely and i know because of this crazy time you know we hardly get some time or we get a chance to go out in nature and explore the real beauty around us but we can definitely get some life into our home you know by just painting some green plants and of course having some real plants with you is one of the best ways to feel happy indoors so just grab a paper a few colors and enjoy making these easy tropical greens with me so the first step you know i also painted a background and this is completely optional you know you can just go ahead and paint on a clear white sheet because i'm going to be framing it with a white panel on the corner so i wanted to you know just glaze it on the center with some kind of color so that's the reason i've done that and it's completely optional to create this beautiful palm leaves it's very simple and easy we are just going to be using a round brush basically a round brush with a very fine pointed tip and then i'm just going to be mixing some sap green and dark green together and we'll be able to create these fine leaves there so it is very simple and easy and in few areas you know if you want like i'm not insisting you but if you want you can always add some sort of shadows and some sort of more realistic effect there for that i'm also mixing some black color and this is completely optional like you know you can go ahead if in case you're confident go ahead and just do this step and just try to you know create these basic strokes and you'll be able to create this very easily you can also add some water in case you know your brush is not moving very smoothly because here if you know you have a perfect consistency of the color you'll be able to create this and enjoy making them very easily At this stage the painting is almost done but then I also wanted to you know add some sort of you know shadows and light falling on the wall basically I wanted to show that you know this is in front of the wall so some sort of light falling on the wall and at the same time the reflection of this beautiful palm leaf you know to fall on this particular wall for that I first added some sort of sun rays there for that I'm just lighting down the background color by you know lighting down the shade by adding some more white to it once we added that light reflection i'm also adding some sort of shadow which is falling from this particular leaf on the wall for that i'm using very light shade of gray that's to show a beautiful subtle shadow falling on the wall like this and now it's ready so i also decided to get them framed and i got these frame online so i didn't have to go out and you know just get them framed and all those things and i just placed it inside this beautiful frame and it's ready i'll give you the entire look at the end you know how all these paintings turned out and now let's quickly move on to the next beautiful plant that is the beautiful rubber plant so to begin with i had just used this basic leaf shape and by just using that you'll be able to frame the entire painting very easily but yet again if you want to find the traceables and learn this painting in detail then you can join me on my patreon the link will be mentioned in the description box below and here i just picked up this sap green color mixed with some dark green color you can also use just dark green completely it's completely optional so here just by using a basic round brush a pointed round brush here that is number 6 or 4 
anything you know that's still pointed and you know can give you a beautiful shape on the center so this is going to be very simple and easy and you'll be able to do it very easily on a drawing paper so just fill this color like this you know we are going to be giving a very different and you know it's not going to be even it's not going to be exactly what i'm doing you can just go around and you know create a beautiful shape and design on the center because this is completely natural and it can be of any shape and size it does not happen to be exactly what i'm doing because that's what you'll find you know this kind of rubber plant you know you find that one as well you know which is completely green in color so we are basically making this beautiful one you know which has a lot of variation of color it has you know very basic light shades of green yellow and also some sort of pink tint there so we are going to be adding it later so just feel free and add the shade and color and you know just go around in the texture part the way you want to do and just enjoy the entire process by following these simple steps So at this stage, you know, our rubber plant is almost ready, but I'll highly encourage you, you know, to just add these beautiful reflections on the top. So this is going to make it look even more natural and beautiful for that. I'm just using a small flat brush and just mix some white and some green color together. Remember, we're going to be using very light color because we just want to show a very subtle, very low light reflection there on the top so just add very little color on the brush and just create very soft reflection of light on the top like this
just pitching in here and just wanted to let you know that this was such a beautiful and peaceful painting i was like completely into it and i would really insist you to you know just try it it's just gonna give you so much of joy and at the same time you know the steps are so simple so like we just started it you know just by adding some beautiful colors and textures there in the background but the main important thing that's going to make this painting look you know 3d and protruding and realistic is definitely the reflection that's going to be falling on the top so when the baseline rides completely you know do add these beautiful highlights on the top to show the reflection of light falling on these beautiful leaves you know just use very little color and you'll definitely enjoy the process as you can see you know while i was going through you know different paintings and i was just picking up different concepts i was really happy my mood was getting uplifted and it's gonna happen the same with you and you will definitely find results you know if you follow these simple steps so yes now it is also ready and i got this framed as well and i really like the way it turned out to be and i can't wait to show you the final results that how it looks on the wall completely with other paintings so now quickly let's move on to the next most beautiful leaf that i really like and admire which i actually don't have and i wish to have this plant you know but you know because of this moving schedule and because of this transfer thing i really don't get you know a chance to have a lot of plants in my life so yeah i definitely wish to have it maybe next time so let's go ahead and paint this and to make this very simple and easy for you, you know, let me just give you a basic block diagram, you know, so that you'll be able to make this and, you know, draw this freehand very easily. For that, just make the center line, which is going to determine the direction of the leaf, like, you know, in which direction you want it to be. So once you get that, then we're going to be making a beautiful heart shape. That's it. It is so simple. Just create this beautiful heart shape. And when you do that, just try to create these beautiful veins on the center and then just cut these beautiful outlines here. Like you can notice, you know, initially we just created a very rough design here. And now I'm going to be, you know, creating darker lines, which is going to be my final outline. So this is the way how you should do, you know, just create a very rough line on the background which is very light in shade and then go ahead and you know start adding those dark lines on the top so just start cutting this beautiful pattern from the leaf corner and then you'll be able to get it very easily so once you get it just go ahead and draw it on the paper or canvas so now i wanted to go ahead and paint this on an a3 size acrylic painting paper because my frame is of that size but i couldn't find the sheet i'm going out of my colors and a lot of art supplies because i'm on the move right now so I'm just not able to add it because by the time I go, the delivery is going to happen. The online delivery is going to happen very late. So then I decided that, you know, on the same uh, cardboard that's there available on this frame, I'm just going to be pasting this canvas sheet on the top and that's going to become my canvas. If you have it and if you have the paper available with you, you know, just go ahead and draw it on that. It's completely optional. So now we're just going to be using a very simple technique for making it. We're just going to be filling it with one solid dark green color. You can also mix it with some sap green color, you know, that makes the color look very intense and it gives more realistic color to your leaves. So just go ahead and in the first step, just add this dark green color like this. And to get a perfect base, always remember that you can always add two layers of color there, you know, because that's going to make and give a very deep color there. So always go ahead and add the second layer when the first layer dries completely for making this leaf. And here at this stage when the base color is dried completely, now we'll be adding some more depth to our leaf. You know, it's going to be adding some more amount of twist and turn and some kind of more realistic effect to our leaves for that i'm just going to be picking up very little green mixed with black color and by using this flat brush number one i'm just trying to add some more depth there basically the shadows that's going to be formed by you know the moment and the twist that's going to be naturally present on the leaf so just add that by using very little color in the beginning you can definitely increase the intensity of black color later you know progressively but do not add direct black color there always mix it with some dark green color and try to follow what I'm doing.
once we are done by adding some depth and shadows to our leaf now we're going to be adding some white color to create some highlights to just show the reflection of light falling on this beautiful leaf so just use very little color on the brush remember we are going to be you know increasing the intensity of white color progressively so here intentionally i'm using very little color and just by using a flat brush i'm also trying to blend its end so that you know the reflection on the leaf that's falling on the leaf looks very natural and realistic so let's quickly add this reflection of light falling on this monster leaf and i'll share with you the final look at the end just by following these simple three steps that is you know applying a solid color and then the depth and then the highlight at the end you'll be able to create beautiful monster leaves and they're going to look very beautiful and realistic so just go ahead and give it a try and then at the end i also placed it inside the frame you know but this frame was really clumsy and weak so i won't suggest you to buy it so maybe later you know i might just go out and get this framed really well from a local framing shop and then you know make it really strong and sturdy and this is how it looks and now moving on to the last painting which is one of my favorite that is painting a snake plant so this is going to be super simple and easy to make again i'm using an acrylic painting paper you can use any drawing paper and enjoy making this plant it is super simple and easy to make dried completely I'm using a flat brush and I'm picking up this dark green color on it and I'm just you know dabbing it there to create this beautiful texture there it is such a beautiful plant you know so it does not have to be exactly what I'm doing just go ahead and follow the same technique and just try to add this kind of texture on the leaf to make it look very beautiful and realistic
is the sheet inside this frame i also got this online and i really like the you know quality and everything it was so beautiful and pretty so then when it got ready i think i wasn't done yet you know even after painting so many greens i was actually feeling really nostalgic because any which ways these are my last days in this place in this beautiful city and i'm definitely going to miss each and everything about it it's so beautiful it's so green so i wanted to you know actually take something from it so i just plucked a leaf and then you know you can always dry it i just placed it between a clear sheet because you know don't pl place it on a newspaper because then the print of the newspaper would come on that leaf or flower basically i could not find any you know flower or something so i wanted to you know just dry out this leaf so that there is no mold and stuff and then you know just let it dry for about one to two days don't leave it for a very long time like i just left it for three days because i didn't want it to get completely black and brown in color i wanted a little color to be seen so then i just picked it up in third day and it was dried completely and then i picked up this frame this beautiful frame inside this you can always place you know your favorite flower or that rose or anything that you want to you know preserve forever so i just want you to take this beautiful green memory with me so if you're somebody who does not want to actually paint at this moment of time or you're you know running out of time then you can definitely you know add some more green to your house just by you know adding some leaves and some kind of you know flower inside these frames and it looks so beautiful and pretty and this is the final look it's gonna add so much of calmness and it's gonna give you so much of relaxation it's like you know you've added so many greens to your home so it's gonna be a beautiful wall if you just want to try it and you know i'm also gonna keep them on my next studio so i'm waiting for that and i'll keep updating you what's happening next and where do i reach in my next video till then take care and thanks for watching